Today, more than ever, there are so many people out there that are atheists. They say God or Jesus is just a fable or a delusion or a fairy tale. The greatest evidence that God exists is in the lives of the people that he has miraculously changed. And I am one of them. There are thousands of people. It's easy to find people, including myself, that have been instantly and completely set free from a lot of sin. Talking about smoking, alcoholism, drugs, sexual immorality, and a stone cold heart that does not know how to forgive, that will not forgive. Change the heart completely into a heart that is willing to forgive. These kind of things happen only by the power of God. I know someone might say, well, you know, oh, people quit smoking without God or quit, people quit drugs without God. Listen, don't come with just a piece or a part and claim that you have a whole. I'm talking about people who have been instantly and completely set free from all of this stuff in an instant by the power and by the presence of God. I am one of them. So don't give me this, well, people went to rehab and quit without God. It's like coming with a steering wheel and saying that you have a car. It's like coming with just a little piece of paper and saying that you have a book. Don't come with a little piece. I'm talking about the whole package, instantly and completely. And someone may say, well, it's only because of mental power that you did this. Oh, it happened because of mental power. Oh, well, I take that as a great compliment. Thank you for assuming that I have such power that miraculous things can happen in an instant like that, completely and totally and permanently changed. And some people might say, well, it's because of indoctrination that happened. You know, it, it, it happened because you were indoctrinated into that. Oh, really? For me, it happened when I wasn't a churchgoer. It actually, it didn't even happen in church. I didn't come from a family that was a church-going family. So don't give me this indoctrination crap. And by the way, if you think that it's just because of a belief or because of an indoctrination, then I challenge you. I challenge you. Produce your own doctrine. Produce your own indoctrination that produces the exact same results that happened in my life and it happened in thousands of other people's lives without God. That's my challenge to you. Produce the exact same results without God. Set people free from all of their drug addictions, alcohol, and nicotine addictions, and their sexual immorality as defined in the Bible. Set people free from that. Change their lives and change their hearts in an instant, like it's happened to me and thousands of others, if not millions of others. Do the same thing without God. I dare you.